welcome to Carnival Mingo Science Negara. So we're currently at the mini stage area where we have a lot of booths happening around us. So we're actually going to do a walkabout and interview a few of our booths here today. But first, for those tuning in live, give us a few minutes for us to walk around because we will be announcing the winners of the online quiz as well as presenting the certificate of participation to our exhibitors here today. Okay, so let's do a quick walkabout, a really quick one, and let's go to our first booth, Pastopia by Quirk. Let's go. Hello, hello, we're back. Oh, we're back. <laughs> we're going to do that again. All right. All right, so Pastopia by Quirk. So tell us about what you guys do and what the kids can learn from using your platform. Yeah, um, thanks for that. So Pastopia, we're basically creating a game that's really fun to play. Uh, kids wouldn't even know that they're learning coding as they play. It's really simple actually. When they play, we give them challenges okay. that allows them to create objects within the game. But the okay. only way for you to create objects is to code it. Okay. And the better and better you get, right, within the game, you can start creating your own world as long as you just code it. Yeah, so the creativity is basically out of bounds for everyone. Okay, so if I want to create things in the game using yeah. code, but I don't know how to code, how does that work? Yeah, so really simple. So when you start out in the game, it's a single player, you start out. Um, we give you small little challenges that allows you to get acquainted with syntax and coding the language, right? So it's really, we make it really, really simple okay. to the way of where um, once once you start picking up the skills and then you get advanced level, right? That's where you actually be able to use your creativity and the knowledge that you have to start coding the entire world. But in the beginning, when you're when you're starting out, it's just really learning the basics. We allow you to have baby steps and um, making it very simple and fun when you're doing it. So we remove the intimidation cool. of learning coding. Okay, yeah. so where exactly can I log in to get this platform? Sure. Um, just go to www.pastopia.io. You download a version to play. And um, yeah, just have fun and uh, learn coding the, the new cool. way, the future of coding. Yeah. Okay, I'll come back for my free account. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so we're moving on. Let's see what else we have here today. Okay, pretty cool. We have hologram here. Okay. Hello, would you like to wave to the camera? <laughs> so we have a hologram workshop happening here as well. Okay, let's see what else we have. Hello, guys. Say hello. Say hello to everyone viewing. Cool, cool. Okay, moving on. We have some sort of robotics games happening as well right now. And we had a really cool session on stage with Lernado. So if you guys have the time, please check out Lernado, okay? They are a learning platform which uses all your senses to learn. Okay, moving on, fast, fast, fast. Oh, okay, this is I think the crowd's favorite. It's Kitabina, okay? So we've been hearing lots of laughter, lots of screaming here. Perhaps we can talk to Dixon. Hello, here's your pink mic. Oh, oh no, it's pink. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so tell us a bit about Kitabina and why everyone is screaming and laughing over here. Uh, well, so for Kitabina, a major space based in Sukhujaya. Okay. It's like, uh, our main thing is actually education, but about today, okay. we have brought a wooden arcade. So it's an, an entire arcade made out of wood by hand. <laughs> <laughs> Literally a wooden playground. Just by hand to this <laughs> months, like took, took our manager months. Okay. <laughs> and uh, oh. it is basically to showcase what can be achieved with uh, woodworking. Okay. So something as simple as just a uh, little ring toss game, just straight like ring. Just show them how we do. Come on in. So just a simple ring toss game. That's uh, made out of string and ring. All the way up to something more mechanically complex, like that pinball table over there. Oh, okay. Fun. That is, uh, <gasps> That's my <laughs> favorite. <laughs> cool. And all of this is handmade by yes. you guys. Yes, it's all handmade. Cool. So if uh, anyone wants, they also teach uh, kids, teens, and even adults to learn critical thinking skills, oh. and engineering skills, and woodworking. Okay, very nice. Thank you so much for being here with us. Right. We hope you enjoyed Mingo Science Nagara so far. Cool. See ya. Okay, moving on, moving on, fast. Okay, we are entering the robotics zone, okay? I think it's personally one of my favorites, all right? So if you guys can see, we have some robotic activities happening on the ground here, okay? Technology and innovation never stops. All right, 
Let's see, let's see. Hello. Cool, cool. So we're going into more robotics, more robotics, and my favorite, favorite part, drone soccer. Okay, we don't have an actual field, okay, but we have a drone soccer field. How cool is that? So perhaps we can look for someone. Come on over. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Hello, sir. Here's your pink mic. Welcome to drone Hello. soccer. Yes. Okay, so tell us a bit about drone soccer and why it's so cool. Uh, this game is invented by the Koreans, inspired that by Ooh. The, uh, the game of Quidditch in Harry Potter. So this is a, if you look at this, this goal post is one of two uh, played by a team of five. Right? Oh. Team of five, two strikers and three defenders. So the players are supposed to score by putting the balls across into the, the, the uh, goal post and it consists of three sets of three minutes. Okay, so three. I've never flown a drone in my life. So how do I learn how to fly a drone, let alone play it's soccer? It's easy to learn how to fly, but okay. rather difficult to play well. Oh, okay. So you need a lot of practice, practice time in order to play well. Okay. So be prepared, there is a World Championship coming up next year in Korea. In Korea. So we look forward to uh, having Malaysian team uh, play well during that game. Let's do it, Malaysia. Here you go. Here's Thank your you. soccer ball. Thank you so much. You're Hope welcome. you enjoyed the pink mic. Let's head back over. All right. Okay, so we also have a few things happening. We have perfume making. So cool. Another one of my favorites. All right, so we are now heading back to the stage area. As you guys can see, there's so many things to cover. All right. So I hope those there are people joining us online, hopefully, okay, especially those who are waiting to see the results of their online quiz, okay. So let's head back. There's a lot of ground to cover, okay. All right, so we are now heading back to the stage area where I am also the MC, okay. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. All right, we hope that everyone is doing good. We are having a great time. But unfortunately, we have to be the end of our agenda for this day. All right, so we just did a walkabout around the exhibition area, just showing our online pictures. What we have here, I think we have about 30 exhibitors for today. All right, so we will move on to the next part of our agenda. We will be announcing the winners of the online quiz. Hi, 
Asia Pacific University, APU. And for our STEM partners, we have uh, other drones, nocturnal drone.
innovative innovative uh, Infinity. Infinity Social Enterprise. Look at all. Superbomb Worldwide. Our next unicorn. New Line Waste Management. Mr. Sean Han. New Line, Mr. Sean. Yes. Yes, come, come. From our 3D printer friends, Pebble 3D. <laughs> 3D Express. Thank you. Leonardo, Ed-Tech. Kita Bena. Simplify Network. Simplify help us with our 5G uh, coverage for internet today and yesterday. Thank you so much to Simplify. Thank you very much to Techno coming all the way from Penang to support us. Quirk. Cytron Technology Budas Malaysian UAD Code of Peace Society Simon Sear, CS, you see us here? Micro Concept Tech, your husband. HHMT Thank you Harry for your support Okay, let's have a bit uh, We have special mention for okay. We'd like to call upon and thank uh, our president Okay, for soon. Haha, <laughs> you got a special one. Like, did it then. Surprise!
So as we bring her into the center to a close, I would like to this moment to express our heartfelt thank you to our exhibitors. Your commitment and creativity have played a role in showcasing the wonders of science and innovation. Terima kasih sebab menjadikan kamera kamera sangat menarik and most importantly, mendidik our future innovators. So your efforts have truly inspired all the children as we can see that for the past two days. So let's continue to foster that curiosity in them and collaboration for a brighter future. So thank you everyone once again. And we look forward to seeing you all next year, hopefully. Assalamualaikum. Thank you.